Michael Angelo, you have heart. Donatello, you have wisdom. Raphael, you have bravery. And Leonardo, honor. Cowabunga! I'm gonna do what any grown up would do buy all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem movie toys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, holy freaking turtle power. Packed in a mighty style in Turtles Pizza Fire Van, this Ooze Cruisin' figure set features the entire Turtles team. Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Don, plus April O'Neil. And Biba, adding this pure awesome sauce to my cart. Cowabunga! Let's kick off this epic haul with this Ooze Cruisin' figure set. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell! Holy freaking turtle power! Packed in a mighty style in Turtles Pizza Fire Van, this Ooze Cruisin' figure set features the entire Turtles team. That she sounded like a leader. I do? Oh, I do! Oh, I sound like such a leader! And you ruined it. So what if nobody takes him seriously? Four and a half inch Leonardo, the leader, features a highly stylized comic look inspired by the movie. Here's his turtle shell with sheath that holds his katanas. Leo's ready for battle with his iconic twin katana. Each turtle has 12 articulation points for action-packed battle poses. His head's on a ball joint, so he moves left and right, has some backward and forward movement, and some head pivot. He has arm rotation, and his arms pivot outward. He has a single jointed elbow. There's rotation at the elbow and wrist. His legs have a ball joint, so they move backward and forward. His legs pivot outward, and there's thigh rotation. There's a single jointed knee. There's rotation at the knee, and his ankles simply rotate. Enough talk! I dream about fighting every night! You've got a rage oh, problem, snap. right? It's not a problem! Is it me, or does 4.6 inch Raphael look a bit angry? It's no wonder they call him the angry one. He has loops for his size. Raph even has a battle scar, perhaps from a training accident. Raph includes his signature twin side. Hey guys, if we weren't monsters that were shunned by society and we could do what we wanted, what would you guys do? Maybe get a girlfriend? Not likely. Mikey's the comedian. Too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny. He's got a big smile from ear to ear. And he has storage for his weapons. Michelangelo is battle ready with his iconic nunchucks, but they're loose in his hands. Our dad is definitely not a giant rat. That makes me feel like he's a rat. Featuring a light green shade, 4.5 inch Donatello is literally the brains of the turtles. He has his signature purple bandana and coordinated accessories. Fanny pack with a smartphone sticking out, which is removable. Like the movie, Donnie wears glasses, and they're removable. He's got his iconic bow staff, but it's not painted. Let's store Donnie's bow staff on the back of his shell. Voiced by Seth Rogen, 4.5 inch Bebop, a half human, half warthog mutant, looks freaking amazing. In addition to his movie inspired outfit with exclusive green ooze splatter, he's got on his cool signature purple shades. But surprisingly, he's got no eyes underneath. Ah! Did Raph rip off Bebop's mom tattoo and put it on backwards to prove his toughness? Check out the details in his powerful Bebop drill gun. Man, that looks dangerous. Bebop's head swivels. His shoulder pads limit his arm movement. They also move outward. He has a single jointed elbow and his wrists rotate. Unfortunately, there's no waist articulation. He has leg, knee, but no ankle movement. This is insane. Turtle, mutant, karate teens. I want to know everything about you. Roughly four inches tall, April O'Neil, the turtle's friend, is exclusive to this set for now. April's wearing her movie-inspired outfit with her iconic yellow jumpsuit and cool white and red kicks with black laces. She includes a bag accessory. With a ball-jointed head, April can move her head quite a bit. She has shoulder and elbow movement, but no wrist movement. Her legs are on a ball joint. She has knee movement and her feet rotate. Let's check out the four and five inch basic figures, each retailing for $9.99. With twin katana, four and a half inch Leonardo dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime fighting team. So what if no one takes him seriously? He also has a weapons rack and a baby turtle. Let's put him in the cart. 4.6 inch Raphael, the angry one, has a big attitude and big dreams. Raphael has his Seus, a weapons rack, and a baby turtle. Let's put him in the cart. 
The 4.25-inch Michelangelo is the funny one from the group, or at least he thinks so. He has 12 joints for striking various battle poses, and includes his iconic nunchucks, a weapon track, and a baby turtle. Let's put him in the cart. 4.5-inch Donatello is the brains of the turtles, making sure they're always outfitted with the latest machine. He has his iconic bow staff, glasses, headphones, and a baby turtle. Adding it to the cart. Trained in the art of ninjutsu, Radical Rat Dad slash 4-inch Master Sensei Splinter looks super cute with those glasses and his movie-inspired clothing. He comes with a walking stick sword. With Splinter's training and some last-minute parenting advice, the turtles fight to keep their city safe. Played by the legendary Jackie Chan, 4-inch Splinter Master Sensei is the turtles Radical Rat Dad slash Sensei. Sensei, Master, Mutant, Rival, Rat Dad. Of all his many roles, Splinter has most cherished being a father. Concealed inside his walking stick, Splinter includes his sword. He also includes a weapons rack. Splinter's head swivels left and right. His arms move backward and forward and pivot outward. He has a joint at the elbow and rotation at the elbow and wrist. His legs go backward and forward and there's thigh rotation. He has ankle movement up and down and rotation. His tail moves left and right. 4-inch Superfly, a highly intelligent humanoid fly, is a clever, charismatic, and confident super criminal. Man, that's one badass looking fly. Interestingly, he comes with a detachable wing. He includes a blaster accessory. Gotta add him to the cart. What the? Y'all some little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. Voiced by Ice Cube, 4-inch Superfly, the fly guy, who's half man, half fly, looks pretty freaking badass. He's one cool-looking villain that leads a gang of mutants. He's a highly intelligent humanoid fly. Superfly has lived in hiding his entire life, slowly amassing power in the criminal underworld. But freaking check out that massive clawed arm. And he even has little arms coming out of his body. What? Notice he has only one white shoe stuck on his leg. What kind of freakish beast is this anyway? Superfly's got his powerful blue blaster weapon with some nice little details, plus he includes this weapons rack loaded with accessories. Superfly's head moves left and right and up and down. His left arm moves backward and forward and outward. He has elbow movement and rotation. His right arm moves backward and forward and outward. His claw fully rotates. His legs move backward and forward and there's thigh rotation. He has a knee joint and rotation. Sporting movie-inspired styling, jacked-up Warthog Mutant 4.5-inch Bebop not only sports some killer shades, he's ready for battle with his powerful blaster. Voiced by John Cena, 4.25-inch Rocksteady, a mutant rhinoceros looks nicely detailed with a great sculpt and paint. Built like a tank, Rocksteady's here mutant muscle. Whether it's from his fists or his horn, you don't want to take a hit from this guy. He and Bebop make a dangerous duo but their brains are what some may consider small, even for morons. Rocksteady's got his powerful blaster that's nicely detailed. Additionally, he has this weapons rack loaded with various accessories. Rocksteady's head swivels left and right, but it looks weird since it breaks up the skull. His arms move backward and forward and pivot outward. He has elbow and wrist movement. His legs move backward and forward, and there's thigh rotation and knee movement. 4.5-inch Leatherhead might have kept her crocodile instincts, but this rockin' croc also makes sure to stick to her roots with an outfit worthy of the outback. 4.5-inch Leatherhead, the raging mutant Cajun gator with an Australian accent, looks awesome with a fantastic sculpt and paint and an outfit worthy of the outback. Leatherhead's proud to be a mutant and all in on Superfly's plan to make more of them. They're down for causing destruction and mayhem, especially if it means getting to make a few big boombas. She's even got a holster for her shotgun with nice details. She has a fully loaded weapons rack loaded with various accessories. Leatherhead moves left and right, somewhat up and down, and there's head pivot. Too bad she can't open her mouth. Her arms move backward and forward and outward. She has elbow movement and rotation at the elbow and wrist. There's a hinge at the wrist. She rotates at the waist. Her legs somewhat move backward and forward and pivot outward, and there's thigh rotation. She has a knee joint and rotation at the ankles. 
Her tail moves left and right, and there's rotation. Aw, how cute are these? As seen in the movie, here are Target-exclusive 2.25-inch Turtle Tots Leo and Donnie. Each figure comes with its own iconic ninja weapons. Leo comes with his training katanas. Donnie comes with his training bow staff. Here's 2.25-inch to 2.5-inch Turtle Tots Ralph and Mikey. Ralph comes with his Seis, and Mikey comes with his nunchucks. Adding both of these sets to my cart, before they became ninjutsu experts, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were fumbling, bumbling turtle tots who were always causing havoc and driving Splinter nuts. Aren't they so cute? He moves his head. His arms move backward and forward and outward. He has waist movement, but no foot movement. The turtles deliver justice and pizzas on time guaranteed. The Turtles figures are sold separately. The van opens from the front and back with room for all four Turtles and even Splinter. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! When Superfly and all his minions of baddies cause havoc and try to take over the city, the Turtles bring out the big gun. Check out the Pizza Fire Van, the new Turtles Pizza Van inspired by the movie and retailing for $39.99. Figures and cycles are sold separately. These turtles deliver justice and pizzas on time guaranteed. Get all the turtles assembled and load them in their new pizza van. With the van's mobile pizza launcher, they combine turtle power and pizza power to blast the baddies into submission. The pizza fire van opens from the front and back and fits all your turtles figures, plus there's room for splinter. Interestingly, your turtle cycles can fit inside the van. Push the giant pizza launch activator, turn it on. Then push the red button to fire away pizzas. Launch up to eight pizza pies. The launcher is adjustable so you can hit batteries near or far. Three AA batteries are required for operation, but they're not included. Kick evil to the curb with the Turtles Ninja Kick Cycle. The combo packs retail for $24.99 a pop. Ninja Kick Cycle with Leonardo includes an exclusive 4.5 inch Leo figure with helmet. Leo has a similar sculpt and paint to the basic Leo figure. The main difference is that non removable helmet and those bigger hands. He has the same articulation as the basic Leo figure and includes his signature twin katana. Flip the pizza from side to side and kick from side to side, taking out the baddies. The cycle also has a Ninja Star launcher. Two projectiles are included. Inspired by the movie, Battle Cycle with Raphael includes the Battle Cycle and an exclusive 4.6-inch Raphael figure with helmet. Team up with Raph to take down villains on the move with the Turtles' new Battle Cycle. As Raph steers the cycle through the streets, one of his brothers can battle at his side and from behind in the transformable sidecar, turtle style. Store Raph's twin Sai on the battle cycle, and the nunchaku attaches to the sidecar's wheel for intense battle action. Let's check out this Walmart-exclusive Turtles in Disguise Party Pack set, retailing for $29.97. Love the open window design. Here's Leo dressed as a cowboy with his cowboy hat, working gun holsters, excellent sculpt and paint. Absolutely love their costumes. They look fun, bright, and colorful. Howdy, partner. This sewer ain't big enough for the both of us. Wish the spurs were painted silver. Interestingly, Leo's the only turtle without his bandanas on his knees. He comes with a red and blue rifle with a yellow flag that says bang in red, and a pair of blue and red pistols. He has a ball joint on his head. His arms move backward and forward and pivot outward. He has elbow movement, as well as rotation at the elbow. He has wrist rotation. His legs move forward and backward. There's thigh rotation, knee movement, rotation at the knee, and ankle movement. Here's Astronaut Raph, my favorite figure in this set. One giant leap for mutant kind. Check out that mean look on his face. Raph has on a giant astronaut suit, tanks on his back, and slick space boots. He comes with a blaster and a nicely detailed sword. He has the same articulation as Leo. Here's Beach Bum Mikey. Cowabunga, dudes! Mikey's dressed as a surfer dude with a fancy hat, orange sunglasses without the lenses, a red and yellow Hawaiian shirt with sea turtles. Are those flowers or sea turtles? And brown sandals. 
He comes with a red guitar accessory, as well as a removable camera accessory. His guitar can also be attached on his back. He has the same articulation as Leo. Here's Donnie as Spock. LOL, Donnie's got fake black hair. Wow, his ears are pointed just like Spock's. He's even got Spock's Vulcan salute. Live long and prosper. He also has the Starfleet emblem on his belt and black shoes to complete his look. He comes with a pouch and a phaser accessory. The phaser's easily the best accessory in this set. He has the same articulation as Leo. Let's check out the 5.5-inch Deluxe Ninja Shouts action figures featuring their authentic movie voices and retailing for $14.99 each. Leonardo looks bodacious with a big old grin on his face. He comes with his signature katana. The main gimmick here is that he features power shout and punch in action. Pull his arm or leg to hear fun catchphrases and sound effects. Hold them back to extend effects or repeat what he's saying. Let's put him in the cart. The 5.5 inch deluxe figures retail for $14.99 each. Talk about mutant mayhem, you'll get more than an earful from these Turtle Brothers if you mess with their mean, green, crime-fighting team. Throw a punch or land a kick to hear the ninjas shout some of their iconic catchphrases from Kawabunga to Totally Turtles. He's got his twin katana to slice and dice and a sheath for holding his katanas. Leo has very limited articulation. He can move his head, arm, wrists, and leg. The main gimmick is that Leo speaks nine phrases and plays five sound effects. Hold them back to extend the effect. Raphael is one mean, green, crime-fighting machine. Is it just me or does he look a tad angry? He comes with his sayus and features a range of phrases and sounds. Gotta add him to the cart. Wearing his iconic full red bandana and matching accessories, Ninja Shouts Raphael looks like one mean, green, fighting machine. Really digging the nice paint and sculpt on Raph. His battle scar is merely painted on rather than being fully sculpted. What a bummer. Raph includes his twin side. Raph speaks eight phrases or plays five sound effects. Hold them back to stretch out the effects. Donning his iconic orange bandana and matching accessories, Ninja Shouts Michelangelo looks full of glee. He really looks bodacious and like a fun guy. He's got a pair of nunchucks, so foes better watch out. Mikey speaks nine phrases or plays four sound effects. Hold them back to stretch out the effects. Donatello, the brainy one, certainly looks the part with a great sculpt. He comes with his iconic bow staff and glasses. Pull his arm or leg to hear a variety of fun phrases and sounds. It's time for Donatello to fight for his dream. Game developer by day and K-pop star by night. Wearing his signature purple bandana and coordinated accessories, Ninja Shouts Donatello looks like a brainy one with his removable glasses, nice sculpt and paint. Check out the look on his face. He has a pouch with his smartphone sticking out. Donnie's got his bow staff that can be held in either hand. Donnie speaks eight phrases or plays four sound effects. Hold them back to stretch out the effect. You're awesome sauce. But the articulation sucks butt thanks to the gimmick. Now let's take a look at the Target exclusive Making of a Ninja sets, retailing for $14.99 a pop. This Making of a Ninja Leonardo set features three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. We can see Leonardo's amazing growth from baby to turtle tot to his present form. Let's add it to the car. The Making of a Ninja 3-packs are Target exclusives, retailing for $14.99 a piece. With an open window design featuring a cool illustration of the Turtles training dojo, Making of a Ninja Leonardo features three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. Very cool. Love the glow. Leo's identical sculpt-wise to the basic figure, but he's got a slick, translucent look. He includes his iconic twin, Katana. He has the same articulation as the basic Leonardo figure. Same deal with the Turtle Tot Leo, Turtle Tot Leo includes his twin training katanas. He has four articulation points, so he's quite limited. Baby Turtle Leo has some blue paint on his shell and also shares that translucent look. Making of a Ninja Raphael also features three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. We see Raphael's three forms, Baby Turtle, Turtle Tot, and Ninja Turtle. I certainly hope Target will have additional sets for Michelangelo and Donatello too.
Featuring a window box with an illustration of the Turtles Training Dojo, making of a Ninja Raphael includes three exclusive glow-in-the-dark figures. We can see Raph's evolution from 1-inch Baby Turtle to 3.5-inch Turtle Tot to 4.6-inch Ninja Turtle. Let's see him glow in the dark. Love it! Raph features the same sculpt as the basic figure. That translucent look is the primary difference. He's got his iconic twin sigh for epic battles. He has the same articulation as the basic Raphael figure. Turtle Tot Raph has the same sculpt as the Target exclusive figure with limited articulation. Baby Turtle Raph has some red paint plus that translucent look. Let's check out the 12-inch giant action figures retailing for $24.99 apiece. Meet Giant Leonardo, the Turtles' leader in blue. Standing 12 inches tall with a movie-inspired look, Giant Leonardo looks freaking amazing! Brilliant sculpt and tons of movie-inspired details. He comes with twin katana. Gotta add him to the cart. The Giant figures retail for $24.99 apiece. 12-inch Giant Leonardo, the leader in blue who dreams of being a fearless leader, looks freaking amazing with a movie-accurate deco. He's got a very nice sculpt and great paint. Love it! He has two-toed feet with nails. Store his twin katana in the sheath. He includes his iconic twin katanas with awesome attention to detail. He has a ball joint in his head with full head rotation, backward and forward head movement, and some head pivot. His arms move backward and forward and outward. No elbow joint. He has full wrist rotation. His legs move backward and forward and outward. He has knee movement and rotation, but no ankle movement. Standing 12 inches tall, Giant Raphael likes to break things. He dreams of being a mixed martial arts fighter and comes with twin Seiyas weapons. Love his mean green look, he looks menacing. He's in his element and ready to punch someone so hard they throw up. Standing 12 inches tall, Giant Raphael has a really angry looking face. Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. Fantastic sculpt and paint. They've done a spectacular job of capturing Raphael's likeness from the movie. He has a pretty deep battle scar. He also has two loops to hold his sides. His large turtle shell looks similar to Leo, sporting lots of nice details. Totally tubular, dude. He's got his twin side, which are very nicely molded in detail. Raph's got only seven articulation points, so he's very limited. Home Sweet Sewer Home. Inspired by the movie, standing a massive 25 inches tall and retailing for a whopping $94.99, the Sewer Lair playset packs the New York City streets, subway, sewers, and the lair into one spectacular set. Let's check out the Blind Surprise minifigures retailing for $27.99 for a 4-pack and $84.99 for a 12-pack. Which use will you get? Which turtle will you get? Now let's check out some of the cool roleplay products retailing for $14.99 each. Here's Ninja Reveal Raphael Sayas, Ninja Reveal Michelangelo's Nunchucks, Ninja Reveal Donatello's Bow Staff, and also look for Ninja Reveal Leonardo's Katana. Kawa fucking bunga! Take a look at that bill I racked up. I love this collection. All right, collectors, what TMNT Mutant Mayhem collectibles will you be adding to your collection?